Hello. Yesterday I received a shipment from the United Kingdom containing a large LCD clock. The brand is Yoshiko, Yoshiko and it sells uh, home and professional weather stations, wall clocks and battery chargers. At start I thought that maybe this review doesn't quite match the content of my channel but still as a big fan of unusual clocks I've made many different versions myself and also own many commercial clocks I decide to briefly describe this beautiful device. I specifically ordered a uh, uh, LCD digital analog style clock uh, model YC8060B with dimension 21 on 24 centimeters. The product is nicely packed and protected from damage and arrived in Macedonia in about 20 days. First let me note that of the many clocks I own, I own and have seen, this one has the largest single LCD display. Without batteries it shows clearly and precisely drawn numbers and lines uh, that are actually immutable so it is impractical to waste battery for the display. In the box there is also uh, an user manual in English. It required 4 AA batteries for its operation. Let's put the batteries in and see how it works in reality. First about the contrast, the arrows are most clearly visible if we look at, at them from the bottom, which means that if we mount it on a wall above head height, the, the readability is excellent. However, if we look at the top, the arrows are faint but still noticeable and there is a difference between the arrows and the numbers. Unfortunately, this difference cannot be seen in the video due to the characteristics of the camera. Lateral visibility is also excellent if it is mounted on a wall and acceptable if, it, if viewed from above. Uh, from this, we can conclude that the clock is primarily in intended as a wall clock or desktop clock placed on a higher, higher shelf. In addition to the nicely designed analog style clock, uh, the lower part of the display contains information about the date and the current temperature that are not too offensive and fit nicely into the overall clock look. When I first saw a picture of this clock online, it also had a half arrow showing seconds, like now. Uh, and I immediately thought it would be great if it could be turned off and indeed there is a button of which with a short press this option is turned off and on we can set uh, that is sec button uh, we can set the exact time the manually and it can also be set automatically through a radio control signal that is broadcast across the United Kingdom. For automatic clock set, we need to long press set but sec button. Unfortunately, uh, this option does not work in countries outside the UK. To set clock manually, we need to hold mode set button for 3 seconds to enter clock or calendar setting mode. RCC on or off. 
Next. Owl. Next. Minutes. Year. Month. Date. Celsius or Fahrenheit. And mode set again to confirm each setting. Now for, for alarm settings, short press mode set button to view alarm time on display. Uh, when we view alarm time, hold mode set button from three, for 3 seconds to set alarm time. Uh, now press up and down button to adjust the alarm time. First hour. And then minutes. Uh, press mode set again button to configure the setting and again uh, now if you need to enable or disable alarm we need to press alarm on off button alarm on and alarm off also on the back side we have three alarm modes Monday to Friday Monday to, Monday to Saturday and, and Monday to Sunday also snooze button. The temperature measurement range is minus 9.9 9, 9 .9 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is out of this measuring range, LL or HH will be shown on the LCD. And finally a short conclusion. First of all, let me mention that I bought the device with my own phones and it is not about and it is not about any kind of sponsorship of advertisement. I mounted the clock on the wall in my living room a few days ago and I am really happy with it. Even in condition of very low light in the room, the clock is clearly visible with a simple and functional design without any necessary unnecessary accessories that devices of this type usually have. Also, the price is very reasonable for a device of this quality with the caveat that if you live outside the UK or EU like I do, the postage costs are about the same as the value of the device itself.